Well, 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 so far AI was taking away repetitive jobs, but now it has backfired and is targeting people who never found themselves in any kind of jeopardy, the coders. Yes, due to this recent development, programmers and developers might go bankrupt. Is it just me or is it happening for real? Let's find out. So guys, the whole tale started with a new product called GPT Engineer. What does it do? Well, it can write code develop apps and websites, help you scrape websites, and a ton of other geeky stuff. But the problem, I'm sorry, the perk here is that you don't need to write a single line of code. Instead, you just have to install it properly and prompt it. So if you are a coder who doesn't like this job and desperately needs such a tool, I'm putting the link down in the description. The makers of this tool boast the promise that it can adapt, extend, and train your personal AI agent to generate a code that aligns with not only a prompt, but also your style of coding. They also claim that the design of this particular tool prioritizes user friendliness and effortless utilization. Its purpose is to provide immediate value without any hassle. The power of this tool lies in its ability to resume computations seamlessly. Every computation is stored and persisted to the file system, ensuring reliability and consistency. So you don't need to worry about losing progress or facing unexpected disruptions during your projects. The tool also offers unparalleled flexibility. It allows you to incorporate your personalized AI steps. By doing so, you can tailor the AI's learning process to align with your specific requirements perfectly. They also claim that the GPT engineer is designed explicitly for incremental growth. It gradually evolves to provide a high-level user experience by learning from your prompts and retaining that knowledge over time. With each interaction, Action, the AI becomes more adept at understanding the user's intentions, thus allowing for a more sophisticated and intuitive engagement. Efficiency and smooth workflow are central to the GPT engineer. It enables swift and seamless back and forth interactions between the AI and the human user. This seamless handover ensures the code generation process remains effortless and highly efficient. The tool seamlessly adapts to the pace and rhythm of the user, ensuring a productive and fluid experience. Those are pretty hefty promises, and you can watch many videos on YouTube in which the developers use and react over this, but this one is more of a coverage of a new development. But still, I will guide you through the installation process in this video, so make sure you stay here. But before that, here are my two cents. After watching many videos watching Engineer GPT's capabilities and researching what it can do, I think it's truly remarkable how far we've come in the realm of technology. The possibilities seem endless, and it's difficult to fathom what lies ahead in the coming months and years as these tools continue to advance. The question on everyone's mind is whether AI will eventually replace developers. If we look honestly at the situation, it's clear that the AI will undoubtedly replace certain aspects of our job, mainly the more rudimentary tasks involved in development, such as setting up boilerplate projects or performing software testing and quality assurance, are likely to be automated. But it's essential to acknowledge that AI also brings along a plethora of challenges related to copyright, privacy, and security. Some companies may be hesitant to allow their employees to work with AI tools as their destination and utilization of the generated code remain uncertain. Nonetheless, this cautious approach will likely be temporary as businesses embracing AI tools and technologies will outpace their competitors. It becomes almost imperative for companies to join the AI bandwagon as these developments akin to the internet or social media are virtually unstoppable. As I see the situation, for a short term, software developers will benefit from utilizing AI tools to offload some of the groundwork, such as setting up boilerplate code, writing software tests, or even generating portions of applications. This will greatly enhance efficiency and expedite the software development process, hoping to improve the overall quality of our work. However, I want to express concerns for individuals studying computer science or related fields, but that concern is also mitigated by the fact that more students will be able to start their own businesses if they are creative enough. As the demand for traditional hiring practices decreases in the job market, especially within organizations already comprising numerous senior engineers, it becomes evident that individuals entering this field must possess exceptional intelligence and a skill set boosting multiple tool sets. The first roles AI will likely replace are those of junior developers. AI systems will gradually assume these entry-level positions that traditionally served as a training ground for aspiring software engineers. This leads us to question whether any junior developer jobs will be left at all. It's a valid concern and one that demands attention. 
If AI takes over most of the responsibilities of junior engineers, how will graduates gain practical experience once they complete their studies? The prospects appear bleak, and senior positions may also be affected similarly in the long run. Considering that people in senior roles are already facing a lot of setbacks, it would be a financial disaster. When I mention the long run, I'm not talking about decades, but years or even months. Change is happening rapidly, and the landscape will never be the same again. Yet, I remain hopeful that we can find a balance between developers and AI. A win-win scenario where AI complements our skills rather than replacing us entirely. In this symbiotic relationship, developers can focus on what we excel at, leveraging our higher-level thinking skills to devise innovative and unconventional solutions to problems. These solutions cannot be derived from simply analyzing past patterns, which is essentially what current large language models do. On my channel, I always emphasize on the importance of organizing complex applications and thinking outside the box. Since AI seems to be crushing mundane tasks one after another, the key to reaching this equilibrium lies in developing our cognitive abilities further. We must hone our creativity and the ability to generate non-standard solutions. By nurturing these higher-level thinking skills, we can ensure that AI becomes a valuable tool that enhances our productivity and elevates the quality of our work. While AI may handle the monotonous aspects, we as developers can concentrate on pushing the boundaries of innovation and problem-solving. I know you guys are desperately waiting for the installation guideline, so here we go. After you open the link I attached in the description, you can choose between a stable release or development. For stable release, type the following in the terminal. For development, use these prompts on your screen instead. This will install GPT Engineer for your device, and then you need to set it up with your open AI key. You can do that by running these commands. Now, you've hired yourself a virtual engineer, and to assign it a project, type this. After you run a project like a basic snake game or anything else, you can check the results in the directory. As a new model that just got rolled out, GPT Engineer has its own set of limitations, and telling you those is a part of my job, so you don't start recklessly firing your developers. For instance, Engineer GPT does not support iterations. Once Engineer GPT builds the app, it cannot be modified or altered by requesting changes from the model. To make any modifications, you would need to undertake the task personally. It is crucial to have coding experience, especially if you intend to create something beyond a basic and straightforward application. In the event of an error, having coding knowledge becomes essential for comprehending and rectifying those errors. Here is another interesting scenario that might as well be the greatest limitation of GPT Engineer. I can relate to the sentiment that reading code can be more challenging than writing it. This observation holds significant importance, especially when considering the long-term implications of using AI tools to build code bases. How will a generated code base look after a year? I've noticed an interesting pattern. My coding colleagues achieve a 100% success rate with initial app iterations using ChatGPT, but encounter a relatively lower success rate when addressing technical issues in real-life code bases as tech leads. They claim that one aspect that aids in code analysis is understanding the coding styles employed by different developers who have worked on a project. Over time, this familiarity with their styles makes the code base easier to comprehend. However, ChatGPT does not have a consistent coding style unless specifically instructed and lacks personal opinions or a sense of self. Consequently, a ChatGPT generated code base after a year could resemble the work of a hundred different developers, each with their unique syntax and conventions. This variability can make reading and understanding the code base challenging for those unfamiliar with the project. What they consider as legacy code today might pale in comparison to the complexity introduced by ChatGPT generated code bases in the future. This raises an important question that is it even feasible to add new client features to a code base generated by ChatGPT over an extended period of time? When ChatGPT reaches its limitations and is unable to contribute further to the code base, can a senior developer seamlessly jump in and identify errors with Within the extensive 100,000 lines of ChatGPT generated code? If not, does this mean the project must come to a halt and a new one must be initiated? These are valid concerns that demand careful consideration and planning when utilizing ChatGPT for long term code development projects, and I believe these concerns will continue to haunt GPT Engineer for a long time. Subscribe to Innovella for more blues from the world of AI. In my last video, I talked about how GPT-5 is a threat to humanity. Click on the link popping up and watch it now. See you there. See you there.